What's going on, everybody? Uh, so I picked up a used AT Pro. I uh, got a real great deal on it. Uh, it's an older model one. Got it from a family member. Uh, so this is loose. And I don't like these foam ones all that much. Uh, 2015 is when this one was built. Uh, and the lower shaft is starting to get a little... Well, it's starting to get a little worn here. So what I did is I called Garrett, and it had the uh, rechargeable battery in it that's not charging anymore. So what I did is I called Garrett. Garrett hooked me up with two battery holders. No charge for these. Uh, on Amazon, I think they're like six or eight bucks, but they no charge for them. They uh, hooked me up with those. Uh, I did get a lower shaft as well for it. Just in case this does completely give. Because, like I said, it's starting to look a little war. Uh, so I got a lower shaft for it. I think this is like 7 bucks or something. And then I also got the new S shaft for it. Because I like this grip a heck of a lot better. And this is like 35 bucks, I think. Uh, has the older headphones on it. And this is the one... This is the quarter inch jack on these headphones. And then the person had bought the adapter for the AT series. So, uh, if you guys have old headphones or want to trade your headphones in, uh, you can trade it in. Like, I got the MS2 Swarm. You can trade them in, and Garrett gives you 35% off for new headphones if you trade in the other one. And then what they do is, it all came in a box, and then they send... That's the box the headphones was in. They send you a return label to ship these back. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe they're harvesting the parts out of these and making the new ones. I, Who knows? Uh, then Andy O'Neill. Oh, this is the coil that was on it. It had the smaller double D. And then Andy O'Neill gave me a great deal on a big consector coil. And the new Garrett Carrot. So, uh, I went with the concentric because I, I like my concentric coils on my aces that I started on. And I already got a double D for it. So, uh, I'm going to use this to hunt big uh, fields and stuff where there shouldn't be so much iron in the fields. So, I really shouldn't need that target separation I'm getting off the double Ds. Uh... Alright, so what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to put this together. Put the new rods on. Battery pack. And get this all done. Alright. Alright, uh, as I'm breaking this thing down, uh, this thing was super tight. Uh, people complain about these cam locks. I've had issues sometimes getting them loose because I forget which way I need to turn it. Alright, so for the, the upper one, you want to look down because it's screwing. This slides down and is screwing down this way. Okay? So if you're facing the control box because this is screwing down, remember, remember the rule of thumb. Lefty loosey. Righty tighty, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So if you're looking down to tighten it, you'd go right. If you're loosening it, you want to go left. It's threading, you're going down with, on this one. So left, loosen, right, tighten. Uh, this down here is backwards than that one so the lower one you have to be facing up the shaft and the same rule applies righty tighten lefty loosey because this one you're threading it's going you're threading it upwards towards the control box So, remember, 
Lower shaft, you want to face the control box. To tighten, you want to go right. To loosen, you want to go left. Control box. For the upper one, you want to be facing down the shaft. Right to tighten, left to loosen. So lower, you want to be facing up the shaft. Upper, you want to be facing down the shaft, left to right. I hope that helps you guys out. I know some people have some issues with that. And sometimes I'm sitting there fiddling with it. I forget which way it needs to go. Uh, so that's the easiest way to remember. Upper one, you're looking down the shaft. Lower one, you're looking up the shaft. All right, let's get this thing put together. All right, so there's two Phillips screws right here. I don't have Phillips screws drivers, so I'm just using a small little flathead to get in there because I don't know where all my screwdrivers disappeared. Uh, make sure you take this cam lock off because you're going to need that. I'll do this one-handed. Here, Abby, come hold this for me. I'll have her hold the camera. Right here. Come closer. Right there. So, here, you just get in front of me. <laughs> there we go. You just stay there in front of me. Alright, so we're going to take the screws out right here. right off like that. I'll look over it, see if there's any damage underneath. So we'll go ahead and see, make sure these guys here are tightened up. Alright, they're still pretty tight. Just give them a little nudge again. Pretty sure that's a speaker in there. You guys can see in there. All right. And we're gonna take this. This side's bigger, so that should slide right in there. You see these holes right here, uh, they stick, those little pegs right there go right in there like that. It's nice and snug. That one's nice and snug. A little wiggle, nice and snug on there. All right. Ooh, that's pretty. So, can you see me? Yeah. All right. So then we're. Uh oh. All right. So they did not send little butterfly thing. So we're going to get this out of there.
Shut you guys off here for a second. Oh, there we go. guys off and get this out. I'll be back. I did a play. Alright guys. I, I finally got the thing out. Uh, so. Are you yes. Focused? Can you see my hands right here? Yes. Right here? Yes. I'm just going to snap that back in there like that. Uh, then we got to pull this cup off. Remember which way it went. Now I gotta do this. Put that on there like that. I'm not going to replace the lower stem right now because it's still still working, uh, so we'll leave that on there. I'm going to put our new coil on, make sure it works. How are you focused on me when you're all the way over there? You want to keep me in the center of the viewfinder.
It's heavy with that big old foil on her. Uh, all right, now let's put our headphones on. This dumb thing in the way. catch. Alright, I'm going to shut you off because this thing's not catching. Alright. Alright guys, we are done. We got the new battery pack in. Got brand new batteries in it. Uh, new headphones are on. We got the new uh, S uh, shaft on it, the grip. Uh, so, first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn her on. New coil on there. We're going to hold down that power button. And back to reset it. Take it for a spin. Alright, sorry about the long process and the uh, issues trying to get parts put together. Part of it is probably just my dumb, dummy, dumb, dumbness. <laughs> uh, but uh, there she is. Let's just hope in here is still good. So, if in here is not good, then I should have just bought a brand new one. So, alright, thanks for watching guys.